This is Norman Patterson, the Yellow Jacket Expert. Today is uh, June 18th, 2024, and we are beginning a heat wave here in Connecticut. But the topic of this quick video is last year's nest. And a lot of exterminators take advantage of people because they will try to tell you that last year's nest is a danger and you gotta have a contract and we're gonna spray all kinds of garbage to prevent or to uh, take care of it. And it's all lies. So this lady, you can see up, up there, I'll turn the camera around right up there is an old white face hornet nest and um, it was from last year. So it's one queen, one nest, one year. So you don't have to worry about anything. And you could just knock this down. This poor lady can't get up there and it's unsightly. So she hired me to do that and that's fine. And I'm gonna do a house inspection. But um, just wanted to do a quick video on that and help people understand that last year's nest poses no threat or danger whatsoever. Sometimes I have seen like um, a wasp nest enter in to an old nest, but that's very rare. It's something to keep in mind. It could happen. So I'm going to turn the camera around as I usually do and let you take a look. So I'm going to climb the ladder with my phone and let you get a look. This must have been a whopper. I mean, that's a big nest. I did see something fly out of it. It might have just been a fly or a moth or something, but you know, I know there's nothing in there, but I just want to make sure there's no wasp. So all I do, what I'm going to do is just tear this thing down. Look at all that paper that they made. Oh, there's something in there. What is that? Hey, what is that? Here I am trying to tell people not to worry. And all of a sudden I'm taking this nest down and there are, what is that? There are some yellow jackets in here, but I wanna see exactly what's in this thing. So I guess this is a good video to say, always be careful. This is not the same nest that was in here, but, um, a yellow jacket queen has taken up residence inside of this white faced hornet nest. So the, oh boy, he's coming after me. So the lesson is you better be careful. Yeah, they're fascinating. Wow. Yeah, this is great that I get to make a video. So I'm going to contradict what I said. Just be super careful. There is, I think this is a Vidua nest that made its home inside of an old white faced hornet nest. This is not common, but it is a lesson to be careful. I'm trying to see what variety I'm dealing with. So I'm gonna have to put on my equipment and uh, do this much. Oh, there's the queen. There's the queen coming back. <laughs> this Vidua nest made, this uh, yellow jacket, Queen made a nest inside of an old white faced hornet nest. So I, I approached this cautiously. Oh, yeah, she's inside of there. I approached this cautiously, thankfully, when I have to put on my equipment and take some time to get this out um, because, yeah, because there's a yellow jacket nest that that queen that made a nest inside of this white face hornet nest. This is great. This is a great yellow jacket expert moment. Thankfully, I didn't get stung. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back pedal just a little bit. Yeah, one queen, one nest. This is not a white face hornet nest by any way, shape or form, but this could happen. And this is something I've never seen in my 35 plus years of doing this, where a yellow jacket queen made a nest inside of an old white face hornet nest. So I got to go take care of this. And um, if you have problems, call the yellow jacket expert. And so I guess I'm going to say to people now, the rule is be super careful before you take down old nests. They do. It is one queen, one nest, one year. But yellow jackets and hornets um, or yellow jackets could end up making a nest anywhere. 
that's an unusual occurrence, but it's something to keep in mind. I think this might be a Maculifrons nest, actually. An Eastern Yellow Jacket nest. But it also shows that on, on um, June 18th, 2024, that there are workers out and about, and you better be careful. So if you have yellow jacket problems, call 860-379-6078 or go to my website at www.theyellowjacketexpert.com. I'm going to put some merch up on uh, my website for t-shirts and stuff. I got some cool designs. My wife Kelly is uh, working on some designs in there and uh, I'm excited about this. So let me see if I can somehow, you know, I'll pull this apart with my camera because I think it's interesting enough. So I'm gonna... What is this? I think this is a Vidua nest. Yeah. Okay, time to take care of this. So uh, a little bit of conclusions about this uh, nest. <laughs> oh, he's trying to sting my face. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should put my veil on. Um, so, this is a vidua nest. Um, they're, I don't know if I say they're rare, but they're not very common. And uh, what happened was they did not make the nest in the white-faced hornet nest, but they used the entrance of the white-faced hornet nest to make a concealed nest inside of the house. So that's what this, this vigil wants to do. She wants to go inside of, of the house. There, there's a very sophisticated, sophisticated organic approach called squish. Um, so I take the time, I, I try to figure things out. I just don't like try to spray things, but also there's the queen right there. So I got the queen that founded this nest you see she's bigger than the rest of them and uh so i'm not worried about this nest whatsoever but because of my expertise this dear lady did not have to deal with a yellow jacket nest inside of her walls or her ceiling or her attic or whatever possibly potentially chewing chewing through her sheetrock later in the season where that would have been a disaster and she's allergic um you know, an exterminator, they wouldn't have known what to do. They would have just probably sprayed the nest, not knocked it down. Or if they did knock it down, the, the pesticides wouldn't have done anything or gone anywhere because the nest is protected inside the wall. But um, I do all organic and all natural removal. I take time, I think. My degree is actually in theology. But I take time and I, I observe and I try to reason what's happening and, and do a lot of learning. So um, this is over 35 years of experience working with sting, stinging insects. And the insects, these are not gonna be used for sting allergy patients, there's the queen, because uh, nobody is buying this uh, particular variety of yellow jackets. But doesn't matter, she's gonna be happy that I prevented a huge problem. And she actually paid me just to pull this nest down um, but she got a twofer, so I was able to um, help her out and get rid of this nest before it became a potentially very dangerous situation. So, Norman Patterson, there's the conclusion of this uh, supposedly simple knock the hornet nest down. So, let me go back to my original point. Um, one queen, one nest per year. This is a super unusual thing. They, they didn't nest inside of the white-faced hornet nest. She was nesting inside of the wall of the house. She was just going through the hornet nest to get into the wall of the house and, and make a concealed nest there. So my original statement, yeah, always be careful. I mean, always be careful, but dead nests for the most part, you're, you're okay just to knock them down. Um, but if you uh, knock it down, you're taking your own risk. So take care. Bye-bye.